Hi guys, Mitko here from DN Models, and today we are reviewing this 4 gate scale MI24D Hind D from Trumpeter. The question today is how this compares to Zvezda's 4 gate scale kit that was released about a year ago. Now let's first take a look at the outer side of the box. This is going to be a different review from the ones that I did before in terms of uh, less pictures, more video, but since I'm on the move, this will be the easiest way to go in this case. Now this kit doesn't come with the box art, it comes with the picture on the outside, which is the first obvious difference. Uh, as you can see on the lower right hand corner, there is a Hesja, uh, or whatever the name is. This is uh, air art photography, obviously from Poland, and Trumpeter eventually paid them to use the picture. Let's take a look at the side of the box to see what else there is to show. These are the typical 3D renders that you can find on almost every trumpeter box and there is a description that emphasizes more on MI24V and MI35 rather than the D with an explanation that if you want to know more about you can pause the video and read through. Anyway, that gave me the that gave me, I'm sorry, the inspiration to make a camouflage scheme, which is a digital option for MI35, which will be available soon, uh, based on what I saw here. Obviously, there are exterior differences, but maybe this kit will be uh, eligible for an upgrade. Who knows? I know that the experts will be able to, maybe the regular folk, folks like myself will be able to upgrade this or let's say convert the kit. Now let's take a look inside of the box. I personally expected a bigger box, but it is what it is. So as you can see, everything is packed as expected from Trumpeter. Instructions, decals and paint schemes on the bottom, as well as a small photo etch, which is tiny and most likely for the expert it will be worthless. Let's take a look at the instructions next. As you can see the instruction sheet is the typical trumpeter. Uh, what you can find inside is the standard instruction sheet with simplistic description and as you can guess this is the same as it was 20 years ago with this company as we all know Chinese are very good at only one thing copying if they have to invent something don't look for those uh, so yeah it looks pretty much similar to what we have with the 35th scale kit. I don't know if this is an exact scale down of the kit, but as you can see, simple. I might say simplistic, but we gotta dig through the plastic to be sure that you know, this kit worth the effort. But before we go to the plastic, let's take a look at the paint schemes. There are two paint schemes. One is polish, as you can see. This is in the late MI24 years with Polish Air Force. And there is one Russian standard Soviet camouflage. I think it should be a star on the belly. Anyhow, it isn't exactly the right thing but it is close besides we have a mask set for those and for the eight scale so you can check that out too two options this is it i remove the floor mat because obviously the contrast will be better that way and what we can see here 
are very nice plastic parts. Trumpeter obviously did a very nice job with that. And even though maybe, maybe, size-wise, shape-wise, Zvezda is eventually a better kit, in terms of a contemporary kit, this from the first sprue seems to beat Zvezda all over the place, I guess. This is next. What else we have here? The flat bottom with parts of the cockpit, the tiny T-Rex wings of this aircraft that makes it so beautiful and so aggressive. The hub of the rotor and this is very nice. Let me flip that on the other side. Yeah, this is the other side and I must say I love it. I found it to be way better than the Zvezda kit and this is not unexpected as with all other parts. As you can see, detail-wise, surface-wise, this is a far better replica of the real thing, if you ask me. And although folks at Zvezda, they pretend that they're the best and Again, as expected, uh, and eventually the claim is that their kit is geometrically perfect, which is not. Even though better than this one, uh, if you ask me from a simply Muller standpoint, not a rivet counter one too, this seems to be better one. Of the sprue here we have two. So one important thing that I want to show is this. Is it clearly visible that there is a sack? And this sack is extremely important. And I've seen completed MI24s from Zvezda and uh, rotor wings separately put together, they are flat and in the real thing, they are never flat. They are either sagged down when the thing is at rest, or when flying, the sag is inverted upside down. So we have a perfect representation here for a sagged rotor, which will eventually replicate your helicopter standing on the ground unguided rockets, which most likely most of you will prefer to get as an aftermarket part. But yeah, this looks great. And the last one is the best one. And this is that. To me, it looks similar like the 35th scale kit, shape-wise. Still, I'm not sure because my other one is exactly 7,000 miles away from here, so I cannot confirm. But look at the surface. The surface is times better compared to Zvezda. Zvezda is just a plain thing with huge and deep uh, panel lines. Eventually the rivets you can replicate by yourself, but still. Cockpit looks great. It looks fantastic, if you ask me. And as I've said, I expect it to be a bit larger, but I don't know, I maybe forgot how big the Zvezda was when I reviewed that one. But you got to give it to Trumpeter. They did a very nice job with the surface. This is an area that they're very good at. And with a bit of improvement here and there, maybe an open engine or resin cockpit or something else, this kit will shine. This here 
are the clear parts. And this is the area where I am pretty certain that Trumpeter will blow away Zvezda because Zvezda clear parts are awful, to say the least. Uh, they are not particularly clear. They are not very pleasant to work with. And as you can see here, the details are great. The transparency is nice. Most of you are familiar with uh, trumpeter kits and their clear parts, Hobby Boss as well, and there are no complaints about those. So this is the most important thing in the comparison in between Zvezda and trumpeter, and again trumpeter seems to be winning in this case. Interior wise as well. We already made mask for the exterior. Now we're gonna work on the interior, as well as, as I said, two new camouflage schemes. Now let's take a final look at the decals and wrap up the review. So I threw in the photo etch and I might as well have done a mistake doing that because this is worthless and yeah you better take a look for something else but decal wise this is nice it looks okay i think we might try to replicate those in masks not the stars but the danger which is translated to opasno so this is it there are Copy decals, but lately there is a company that offers uh, 3D, I don't know, printed or whatever. They use 3D cockpits, and I believe they will be having a, a kit for this trumpeter release soon. But yeah, uh, everything else seems to be fine. You can read attention size, signs, sorry. Everything looks good. It's not great, but it's good. So wrapping this review up, this was found also in the box. There is a 3D renders of what's included. Nothing overly important. But yeah, I believe that this kit is far better compared to Zvezda plus the additional issue with Russian made kits well, Russia made everything with the war in Ukraine and people all over the world staying away from Russian products. This gives uh, a lot of green lights for Trumpeter. Still, I personally would suggest to go and get the 35th scale, but you, if you don't have space at home, uh, and I understand that many of you don't, and actually I don't wear... I am at the moment. This is a very, very nice option. Uh, I would highly recommend this kit to anyone interested in this helicopter. And I believe that whoever likes helicopters or builds helicopters or it is interested in this specific uh, kit, well, we all know MI-24 is a legend. It was used since the late 70s and up until today and most likely as we speak it is being used as a deadly war machine it was created to be one and is acting very successfully as such even though there are losses compared to any other helicopter in the world this is probably the meanest and the most used attack and transport helicopter in the world you gotta give it to it so i hope you enjoyed the review i hope also that you like this and thank you for watching write me in the comments down below and i will see you in the next one